This is not exactly a how not to video, but I wanted to share an easy mistake I nearly made when connecting my Victron Blue Smart Charger to the battery in the Sprinter. There's already a video of me testing the charger using the Always Live 12 volt socket in the cab, but I wanted to have a more permanent install, albeit with the option to unplug the Victron and use it on other vehicles. I'd originally planned to install it in the habitation area next to the leisure batteries and so I'd bought the 2 meter extension cable and the recommended M6 terminal connectors with inline 30 amp fuse. Having changed my mind and decided to mount the charger in the cab on the wall behind the seats, I ended up not using the extension cable but I did take advantage of the fused connector loom. Anyway, here's the mistake. After connecting the red live lead to the battery, I robotically attached the earth to the battery as well. Luckily I remembered the issues with my sprinter with the electronics attached to the battery for the intelligent alternator as it's a Euro 5 emissions vehicle and I didn't connect the Victron before grounding the earth to the chassis via a bolt under the passenger seat. The live cable from the battery fitted through the tunnel under the passenger seat so it was just a case of feeding the charger wire through the large gap under the back of the seat and connecting the two together. The Victron then got on with charging the battery as designed. It's all good.